The one thing I've been looking forward to for months is Wellington's showpiece event. It's the World of Wearable Arts, or WOW, as it's better known. It's a creative extravaganza of fashion, whimsy and wonder. But just like for any special occasion, I've decided to make a night of it. Pre-show drinks and dinner before experiencing WOW are a must. And what better way to do it than with a refined nod to the 20s and all its glam. The Hawthorne is an absolute oasis from the hustle and bustle of the city centre. There's no clamouring over the bar here. It's all refined elegance and the bartenders really know their stuff. They treat their chosen craft like it's an art form. If you're looking for an equally refined menu before the show, you can't go past Charlie Noble, an award-winning eatery and bar named after a chimney on the ship's galley, which ties in perfectly with its location right on Wellington's harbour. The theme of Charlie Noble's is all about casual dining, but it's done with a modern sophistication, and the food is first class. You can see it all being prepared right here in their open kitchen right in front of you and they use the freshest local ingredients like these New Zealand oysters, which you can order freshly shucked. You don't get much better than that. The menu is wood-fired influenced, showcasing local ingredients and is perfectly complemented by the finest New Zealand wines and craft beer. Another great thing about Charlie Noble is that it's directly across the way from the arena and it's almost showtime. The world of wearable art is the hottest ticket in town and every year thousands flock to Wellington for a fashion show unlike any other. It's really not a fashion show at all. It's all about bringing art, theatre and fashion together in a two-hour extravaganza. Think avant-garde to the extreme. One critic summed it up saying it makes Lady Gaga look like a librarian. The idea was the brainchild of Dame Susie Moncrief, a sculptor who started it in 1987 in a community hall. It's now one of the biggest design events in the world. And today I'm catching up with the show director, Mike Mizrahi. So Mike, what is wearable art? It's really so hard to put into words. And Tonight you'll see why. It is this weird hybrid. There's some kind of crazy mashup between fashion and theatre. There's simply nothing like it in the world. So what are some of the highlights? What can we expect from the show? Every section, and I think there are about seven, has got a different challenge to the designers. And one of them this year is called Creative Excellence, and the subtext is architecture. So they need to draw inspiration from the world's great buildings, some beautiful lines, things that trigger their imagination and it's a great section. This year, it's a tribute to Ian Athfield, who is one of uh, Wellington's most loved um, architects who passed uh, just this year, so the tribute's to him. So do you have to be a little kooky? Oh, I think you have to be. But you know what it does is it affords craft people a platform to show their work that you would normally just leave in your garage. To be honest, it's not really even fashion. It is wearable art. I mean, these are art pieces. You couldn't wear some of these out. <laughs> these are wild kind of... Some of them are made out of glass. Some of them are made out of perspex. Um, some of them pulsate and move. Um, they're all... <laughs> mad, eccentric. And, and the beautiful thing about wearable art is that it is really one of the most egalitarian competitions. In fact, I think this year's winner, you know, I think he's either a cleaner or he's a welder, and he said something like in his acceptance speech, from, from the garage to glory. <laughs> wow is all about celebrating innovation and originality. And the only limit is a designer's imagination. But even if you're just in the audience, prepare to be transported to another world. There's the magical, the unexpected and the sheer outrageous. WOW provides a platform to launch careers of designers from around the world and the execution and craftsmanship on display will blow you away. But it's not only the cutting edge design, it's also a theatrical performance that combines dance, music and technology to create a world of whimsy and drama. I think it's the most, one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in my life. Amazing, fabulous. 
I'm completely overwhelmed and astounded by the amount of work that goes into each of those costumes. The whole show is choreographed. It's absolutely wonderful. Well, talk about Wellington having the wow factor. That was incredible. It was like nothing I've ever seen before. It certainly wasn't fashion, but if it was and you wanted to know what was in trend, well, when it comes to the world of wearable arts, seems like anything goes.